to be a great people, Kalel. They wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. Hey everybody, welcome to the video and welcome to, it's going to be a Goodwill trip, two Goodwill trips actually in this video. So um, I'm just trying to get more consistent with my intros and what I'm saying and um, this content is a little bit older so I didn't really have a good intro, I didn't really like it so I'm just reshooting it right now for you guys and uh, stay tuned for the trip to Goodwill. Stay tuned to the end of the video because we will go over um, talking points and uh, look at a few solds. Usually when I'm doing the souls, I'm trying to do something cool, something unique, um, not just your everyday, you know, stuff that, you know, like what we call our bread and butter, which is, you know, stuff like I mean, clothing, you know, Lululemon, Madewell, um, shoes, you know, like Nikes, Adidas, you know, some cool, unusual names. Um, and I sell a lot of, a little bit of everything, uh, a little bit of tech, a little bit of uh, toys, we do clothing, hats, all kinds of stuff, so... Um, we have our hands in a little bit of, um, every pot here, every category on eBay is what I should say. Uh, please like the video by hitting the thumbs up and that really helps the channel and helps us grow and subscribe. Please subscribe down below if you want to continue to see content from me. If you enjoy this content, um, obviously don't enjoy it, then don't subscribe. <laughs> Um, and hit the bell notification if you do want to get notified when we drop these videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Let's get to the video. Spot the jewelry really quick. This is where I picked up that gold Seiko watch. It should be like two hundred dollars on that. Running down the end over here, the clothing, funky jeans. Got that Burberry look here, but it actually feels kind of nice. I don't think it's Burberry though. Yeah, it's not a Burberry. Feels nice though. Got some ties, bunch of ties here today. A lot of ties. Dang, someone donated their whole tie collection. What do we got? Nordstrom, Van Heusen, Polo, Club Room, nothing there. Some bright fuchsia ties. Mallory Church. Mm -hmm. This name sounds familiar. I don't really deal too much in ties, but. Remember one time we found a whole lot of Jerry Garcia bow ties, and those all sold off pretty quickly. Sports teams as well too. We found some sports team bow ties, sports football team bow ties, and those all went fast. Buchanan can be okay. Is it Diana Buchanan? Ah, it's not a nice feeling for her, so let's skip on that. Mm, now nah, we'll skip on that. All right, let's get up there. Check out hard goods. The wood, really quick, and the glass, clear glass. This looks like Olga. Cause oh no, Shannon Crystal. No, no, the Shannon. Moving to our normal. What I forgot to do is check the um the target section over here. I have a feeling it might be more Target on Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I got some more stuff. I got a Ninja Knife Block, Power Supply. I got this little Noah's Art thing we're going to look up. So, interesting stuff. A little mix. A computer Power Supply. I heard a bin roll out over here. Let's see. Here you go. Try this for... Uh I'm going to start a new YouTube now. <laughs> Should. <laughs> Should do it. Just turn it on. Make extra money. <laughs> so how does this camera function work? You just hit this and it takes a, it takes a picture or what? Mex cool little Mexican glass here. Ooh, this looks like to be a set of some kind. But it's really got to be something interesting or cool. Miscellaneous. 
pottery, marble coasters. Hmm, might be worth it. Eight dollars though. Take a look at that. Otherwise, I'm not saying it. Okay, just as I suspected, the target section isn't looking very good. So, come Monday though, this will be completely stocked. And, you know, they're brand new, so easy to list. I'm definitely willing to pay a little bit more, make a little bit less for something that's brand new in the box. Easy to picture, what is this? A manual? Was there a Lego set here? Older manuals can do okay. They gotta be old though. Like from older and they gotta be in decent condition, decent shape. But this is not that old. Bin full of books. Books, 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 books. If you see Mike, the Golden State Picker, he does these books. He buys these bins full of books and goes through them. Puts them on, um, puts them up on Amazon. Put this book back here, we got it. Oh, the mugs, I forgot about the mugs. Blue Jay here. Or a Blue Jay and hmm, a bunch of other birds. Cornell Lab. Hmm. It's kind of a nice mug. Hmm. One second. Lab. These are about $20 mugs, so for $2.89, we're definitely going to pick that up. And it was just. Why did I pick that up? Just well made, good subject matter. It's got like a bird watchers kind of vibe to it. So great mug to pick up, look out for it. Oh, sorry. Diversify, diversify. The rest by what you sell. And as you can see, that mug was just sitting there. So, I mean, you just gotta get good and get a trained eye, be able to spot some of these things. Who knows how long, oh, actually I have the date on it. Let's see, how long was it sitting there? 2.16, let's say the date. 2.17, this is just the one day sitting there. So, sat there for at least 24 hours. There's always stuff to find, always categories. These mugs are here. Have a unique design, but they're actually um, not really worth anything. Actually, an anthropology. It's an anthropology bird, but um, not really worth too, too much. But this style is known as like a dentist um, type of cup. So if you see this kind of style of handle, I mean, it can still be used as a mug, coffee mug, tea mug. Okay, now I'm, I'm rolling around, get my second pair of eyes on everything. My wife is here, so she's obviously out and about as well too. Makes it easier if you have a couple people. And there's, you know, several couples here, resellers that are also going through the shelves and looking for stuff. It's always great to have help. Let me look up this stuff really quick before I keep walking around with it, and I'll be right back. Okay, see so, you.
Okay, we did a quick, quick price check. We got about 15 on that one is what it could go for. Xfinity, we got about $20 what that goes for. The thing is, you get these free from our local cable provider. So, it's about 20 bucks. Um, that's probably about $40, so we'll definitely pick that up. It's only two bucks. That's from Avon right here. Maybe $20. This one has a list for 12, so I'm not gonna do it. These ones, like, probably about 15. That I'm keeping for personal use, and that's about 20. So, <clears throat> definitely putting some stuff back. But let's keep looking. down this aisle. Uh, you know what? I didn't look at the um I didn't look at the silverware. I didn't see it. Maybe there was none put out. I gotta remember I'm looking out for some bags, some bag bags. What is that? <laughs> oh from Mexico? Picked up a whip from Mexico. Jiminy Cricket. Hmm. Do we want to dive into there? Let's do it. Let's get in there. Let's see what's in there. and smash. So now... Glasses. They still in here? This might be worth it for three dollars. I still have a 3D TV out. Or <laughs> well, no, it's not didn't really catch on. I mean, I still got one. I don't have my old 3D player anymore but I still got the TV it is kind of cool it actually does work it's kind of cool build a bear dinosaur let's see what those go for Definitely putting some stuff back here. Noah's Ark. Got these glasses, that thing, that globe. It's only like $15, so subtract what you got to pay for it. Not going to be worth it. What is this? No. Okay, so this goes in the miscellaneous section. This little frog. No. Okay. So we're gonna put this back. Noah's Ark. This toy thing is gonna go for. Oh, yeah, there's Legos. Lego dot. Oh, man. That's already used. Okay, this goes back in the tech section. Um. 
not seeing too much. I might have to pop into another Goodwill later today to complete this video. There are some pottery pieces. Not this, but there are some. They're usually dinosaur looking and they look hand painted. I mean, they are hand painted, but they, they don't look like well done, but they'll have rhinestones for eyes. Can do incredibly well without from. I forget what they're called. This is a sand dollar clock. I think I've seen this before. But if you see any dinosaurs that look very rough, pottery, roughly painted, not painted, they don't look they don't look painted very well. They're done by an artist, and I can't remember the name, but they're very easily recognizable by their rhinestone eyes, so they go for 30, 40, 50, up to $100, depending on the size. And if I remember exactly what they are, like the name, I will post a picture. Mm -hmm. else notable I'll let you guys know all right I already scoped out the glass so there's really nothing there tiny gloves hmm Just accepting a Poshmark offer. This Taurus. Mm, good brand, but just a generic keyboard. Nothing really fancy there. Oh, this might be $16. No, not for $16. I might look it up. Some of these Kensington ones can be okay, but we'll take a look. I want $16 for it though. I don't know about $16. Camera. Mm. Pentex. Film camera. Do they want for it? I know. Take a look. This, this might be worth it. That might actually be. That's pretty cool. Let's, we'll look this up for sure. Some of these old cameras. Ooh, I see a Microsoft mouse too. I mean cameras, some of these old phones. Old cameras too. How much is that? Four dollars is okay. I'm gonna see what they're going for right now. Quickly check the wall here. Let's scan through this pretty quickly. I want to look at the toys, but I don't think I might skip the toys just because I don't usually find anything there. Some fishing. It might be bread. Oh, bread and seal. We'll look that up. It's kind of interesting. Tons of fishermen, fishermen products. People love it. Actually, no, I am going to check the toy aisle because I did find that globe recently. It wasn't here, but it could look like a toy. 
So let me go s quickly run through it. I'm not going to film it, but if I find anything, I'll let you know. It's up for four dollars. I might have picked this up for four, but it, it's not working. But just know that the new Deadpool and Wolverine movie is coming out, so Deadpool Wolverine stuff will probably spike. I believe it comes out in the summer. I really can't wait. Obviously a huge Wolverine fan. Huge Deadpool fan, but I believe I mentioned it before, my favorite Marvel character is Cable. Which was in the last Deadpool movie. Oh, they have a bunch of golf clubs. South Bay Golf. Lazy dog? Lazy dog? Mm. Okay. Lazy dog. Yeah, lazy dog. Oh, you did. I don't know if brunch is like a set. I thought it was a set. Let's go. Certified International. Ooh, you see some um, ocean whale scenes. Could be a Wyland mug. Look out for them. They come in both plastic and ceramic Wylands with a Y. So let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to pause it right here because the music's a little loud. Let's start off. You do really well. You know, it's Pretty beat up. That would be definitely a local sale. Be nothing I would post on eBay. Shipping would be wild on that. Okay, what are we looking for? Nothing. Hmm. I did find that back wrap piece the other day at Goodwill. That was pretty nice. Okay, so we're just going to put some stuff back. Is they appear to be prepping for the big sale. There's not really any, it's not really too much out. And... It's pretty busy. Pretty busy today. So we'll probably go get some brunch and then then see how things look later. We're gonna take the Apple Mouse, we're gonna take the phone, we're gonna put this back, and we're gonna put the the bass thing back. Mm -hmm. Something right here. Hmm, these men can do really well. Seven dollars. 
seven, seven. Hmm, I've sold these for up to twenty dollars. It is IKEA. I'm gonna take this with me. I think that could do okay. All right, let's put this last. And back over here. Cow. Oh, cow's on parade. $4 for cow's on parade? Brand new? It's going to go for about 20 to 25 ish dollars. Oh, this is actually you paint your own. Hmm, I'm going to look this up really quick. Okay, so this could be about thirty dollars. We're definitely gonna pick this up. Generally, I looked it up because I know the more decorated ones go for quite a bit, so I wasn't sure about the paint your own ones. But we're gonna pick that up. Towels on parade. Look out for it. And that. All right. That will round out the trip. I'm gonna get this router here. Nah. Nah. Diamond does router. All right, we're gonna do a kind of clear aisle. Shoot, all the way to the front. Let's go. Where? Ooh, what kind are they? Okay. Oh. All right, we just popped into the little purse section here, and uh, to me, this is like an airline giveaway thing, so it should be like twenty bucks, it's like four dollars here. Fair Bradley normally wouldn't be worth it, but it is brand new a tag, so it's like about fifteen to twenty dollars on that little coin purse. Because it's brand new, if it wasn't brand new, we wouldn't be buying it. This is nothing. Okay, okay, we're ready now. <laughs> Let's get out of here. As we're putting stuff away, we're finding stuff. So. And it's not bad. We're not paying too too much for any of this, so it's pretty good as well. All right, let's head on down the line, look for some brunch. Hey everybody, welcome to the end of the video. Now, um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed that, those two trips over to Goodwill. And uh, we're going to look at a few things here. I want to talk about computers. First of all, what do you think of the Poe Dameron guy up here? That's <laughs> pretty cool. I didn't know that Lego actually made a headband version of... The, these are the, the little LED guys. So... Um, Actually, I have another one right here. I have a, I, every time I find these at the, at the uh, flea market, they're usually like a buck or two. So I have a little Yoda one. These ones don't really go for too much, but I buy them anyway. Um, I had a... Uh, let me see. Which ones did I sell recently? Uh, Boba Fett. So I had two Boba Fetts, and those sold um, around $15 each. The, these ones, the Yoda goes for like maybe five bucks. And the Poe Dameron it ha it has no sold comps on this, surprisingly. But, I mean, it's kind of, I mean, it's actually attached to the back. It's not, it's not like, um, somebody modified this at all. This is actually how it is from Lego. So, pretty cool. Just, I guess, headband style instead of keychain style. Pretty cool little guy here. I'd never seen that before, so he's in the video. <laughs> and um, what we're going to talk about is computers. We'll talk about something to look out for. And uh, then I got a few solds as well, too. Some cool solds, unique stuff that, um, you know, you could probably find it out there. On, but I hope, you know, it's kind of unique to my channel. <laughs> Makes me stand out a little bit, I hope. Uh, but first, let's talk about computers. And you're going to find a lot of computer computers out there from, you know, full-on desktops to laptops. And I'm going to show you a few unique computers here to be on the lookout for. And I'm going to show you a little video as well. Right off the bat, if you need a computer, if your computer goes out, I have been and highly recommend going secondhand when it comes to computers. Um, it, it, just the value just really, really depreciates very fast. It, just like a car. It depreciates incredibly fast after you buy it. Um, the only ones that really hold their value quite a bit are, you know, Apple, MacBooks, um, and that's because they, you know, they cost so much, and it's more just the, uh, it's kind of like a designer, like a designer handbag. You know, when you buy designer handbags, um, they tend to hold their value. Some of them actually go up in value, um, and that's kind of like what Apple. I mean, Apple's 
do slowly depreciate, but um, they don't depreciate as much as other you know uh, computers and stuff. So, if you are in the market for a computer, uh, desktop computer or laptop, you know, my recommendation as a computer IT professional is go secondhand with this stuff. Um, and you know, being a reseller and being that I'm always at the flea markets and Goodwills, I come across stuff all the time. Now I have a little bit more advanced knowledge than other people, so I can, um, you know, I can usually eyeball products and determine whether or not it's going to work or not. Um, there's always that risk when you're buying electronics and um, uh, like this laptop here, first of all, and then you know I go to the. Flea, now, I got this at the flea market. I go to the flea market so much that I'm very familiar with the vendors. And there's certain vendors who I'll definitely take their word for it, and some that I that I won't. Um, and some of them, obviously, the ones that are more, tr that I trust more, with, especially with electronics and stuff, they tend to charge a little bit more um, because they're going through the work. They're going through the effort of making sure that they have products out there that actually work. Um so they're putting in a little bit of effort too, and you know they, it's their right to charge for that effort. Now I bought this laptop from a guy that I buy from pretty fairly regularly. It's a really nice Dell. I saw this on the thing, and I was like, you know, that's really cool. Um, not necessarily that was in the market for a laptop, um, but I was like, when am I going to come across a really cool, slim little laptop like this? It's a Dell XPS. XPS is typically is their higher end. Um, uh, brand of computers and I was using a, um, a Microsoft Surface tablet but I mean it's okay it's not my favorite I kind of like the you know having that more rigid keyboard and everything on there but I really love the touchscreen one thing I didn't know fun fact well I mean I I was aware of it but I just I wasn't um until it was pointed out in a video I was watching, a tech video I was watching, is that uh, Apple MacBooks don't have touch, none of them have touch screens. Uh, and, you know, PC, a lot of PCs do have touch screens, and I would highly recommend getting a touch screen because it's very, very convenient. So this is my personal laptop. Bought this a little while ago. It's a Dell. Like I said, it was a Dell. has an Intel Core i5. It is a touch screen. Very nice, compact. I believe this is a 13-inch, if I'm not mistaken. And it charges with a USB-C. So, really cool. I buy from the flea market. I always buy secondhand all my computer stuff. I mean, I did have to buy some graphics cards brand new because, you know, uh, I had no choice. But typically, I'll look on, you know, Craigslist or, um, like, if I want to upgrade my graphics for my computer gaming, I'll look on Craigslist and, uh, Craig I always say Craigslist because that's that was what I, you know, grew up with. But uh, OfferUp and Facebook, I'll look on there and then, you know, usually I'll buy locally. Um, just because I live here in San Jose, California, so there's a lot of this stuff, you know, floating around everywhere. But, okay, computers, you got your desktops, you got your laptops here. So, pretty common stuff to find. Now, what's not necessarily common to find, or I would say people don't, uh, people don't think or don't know what it is, are these right here. So, first, uh, first off, let me show you this right here. So, um, this is my own. This is a, uh, what's called a Raspberry Pi. And it's a little all-in-one computer. And when you typically buy these, like you buy them online, they don't come like this. This is a little case that I built around it. But if you look inside the clear acrylic, this is just a circuit board. It has everything on it. It's called an SOC, system on chip. So everything's on here. The memory, the all you really need. You really don't even need a case for this. All you need is some sort of a, a storage, which this uses just a little micro SD card. And you need a power, which this is powered by micro USB. And probably like a keyboard or something. So it has USB for keyboard. It has Ethernet. This does have a wireless... Um, it actually has a wire, uh, a wireless built onto, built into it, so I can connect it wirelessly, or I can, you know, plug it in to a, um, or I could use a, a uh, USB uh, wireless adapter, and then you would just plug it into a, uh, a display source right here, and this is actually an audio as well too, but HDMI carries audio as well, so um, has an HDMI. So you, uh, this um, I, I don't plug it in. This is a, did I say that already? This is my DNS server. Um, I just for the sake of exp 
you know, so you guys don't get lost with a DNS, you know, what I'm saying, DNS server, but uh, um, essentially, without getting into the specifics, I use this to route most of my internet traffic through, and it just kind of filters out um, uh, websites that I don't want people uh, or children, my children to be <laughs> accessing, and uh, also, uh, oh, it reduces ads. Uh, it doesn't really, you know, I, some ads still come through, but it, it, it reduces ads considerably. So um, that's what I use this for. Have it hooked up to my network. But the, oh, but these Raspberry Pis, I find them not all the time, but often enough. And let me show you what the logo looks like, because sometimes it'll be in a box with just the logo. And these will sell pretty well, and they will sell... They were going for quite a bit, up towards a hundred, a hundred plus dollars, um, a couple years ago. But they have come down. But they will still sell pretty well. Around depending on what model you get, I think we're in Raspberry Pi four or four plus now. And you know those will go for around sixty to eighty dollars. This is a three, three. B plus. So this will probably be around $40 or $50 uh, Raspberry Pi computer. And these actually run, um, these actually run, let's see here. These actually run a version of uh, Linux. So where's the little logo? Oh, here's the logo right here. So this is the actual, their actual logo, Raspberry Pi logo. So if you see that on a box, you see a tiny little circuit board in there, pick it up. These come actually even smaller. There's a Raspberry Pi Zero, which I actually have a Raspberry Pi Zero, and that's like half the size of this. So it's, I mean, these are really cool little devices. Um, the Raspberry Pi Zero I use as a retro gaming, uh, or as a gaming, uh, retro play, play retro games, you know, old Atari, Nintendo games. Uh, so I do have one of those. Now, another really cool small computer the, this actually runs Windows, and I'll, I'll put a video up soon here of another version. But this is an Intel Compute Stick. Yeah, Intel Compute Stick. So real tiny, just kind of looks like a Roku or like a Fire Stick. It has an HDMI, you just plug it into your TV. Uh, this is actually a little wireless keyboard I have attached to this one. It has USB and everything uh, powered by micro USB right there. And this is just a tiny Windows computer. This will run Windows. Um, sometimes I take this on the road if I'm going to, um, uh, you know, from I'm going to stay at a hotel, and you know, it's just a little computer. I just plug into the TV, and you have a, a full-on computer there. So it's nothing that where you're going to be. You're not going to be gaming on this. You're not going to be doing any video editing. You might do some, you know, some word processing or check email, or you know. You, you can watch YouTube videos, log into Netflix, all that stuff on this little thing. So really cool little device. And this one here, this model will go for, let's see, I wonder what this will go for. I haven't looked this one up recently. This is my own personal one. So this one I use, um, let's see, Intel Compute, Compute Stick. So this one here would sell for right around 40 to 50 dollars so keep your eye out for it because typically people would charge and people and i've seen these priced at um at goodwills for around eight dollars i've seen them at the flea market you get them for five bucks or less they just think they're just yeah you know, people think they're just a little like roku device or anything like that which you know pretty much a dime a dozen but no a little something special keep your eye out for it usually because not all are necessarily branded like this Intel, but if you look in the back of the specs, you might see that little Intel flash sign right there, that little Intel sign, then you know you got something a little bit special. Um, now for the video, and I'm gonna I'm gonna play the video on my phone so I know what I'm looking at here when it pops up on the uh, on the screen, which it should pop up right about now. And this is a another compute stick. This one's a little bit more higher end than the one I showed you just right now, but it's still an Intel compute stick. This is by a company called Azul. It actually has a little Wi-Fi antenna on it. What I'm doing to it is um, I'm putting Windows uh, Windows 10 operating system on it. This 
was kind of strange because it was branded by another company uh, and they actually put their own operating system on it so they had their own operating system and you know if i were to sell it nobody's going to really i don't know if anybody's going to be that you know necessarily tech savvy to be able to use it um, or be able to reformat it, which is what I'm doing. I'm reformatting it and I'm putting Windows 10 on it. So it'll be ready to go for the end customer. Um, so pretty cool little device. Look out for them. Uh, you know, they're just kind of handy to keep on hand just in case if you're traveling or you just need just a quick little computer. Just plug it in. You have a little wireless, um, you know, a little wireless keyboard for it. You can plug it into any TV, any monitor. I was using my own portable monitor there. Um, and just nice to kind of just have on hand just in case. I mean, well, for me, <laughs> for anybody that I guess that's into computers, it's kind of cool and nice just to have something like that on hand with you, um, especially if you're traveling and stuff like that. Or what I use my mine for, this one here, what I use this regularly for, this is that I have a TV mounted in the kitchen. And so I have this plugged in the kitchen and I just, you know, Sometimes I just turn on a YouTube, you know, I just have YouTube running or something like that, or watching the news, you know. So really cool little device, a little more versatile. I guess you could say it's a little more first. I just thought of it right now, a little more versatile or a little more versatility, um, as opposed to an Amazon Fire Stick or just a Roku Stick or something like that. So pretty cool. Okay, let's get into the solds here, and right off the bat, we'll stick with the computer theme uh, because this is a really great sale, really fast sale as well, too. This sold within an hour of me listing it. So I'm telling you guys, ergonomic keyboards, look out for them. This one here is open box, and it's open box because I opened it. Um, picked this up at the flea market. You, you're not going to see, I mean, you'll see it now on film, but I, I didn't film this this pickup and i picked up this stuff and a few other things as well too uh, but uh picked this up at the flea market we got this for 40 dollars, so we definitely paid up for it but i knew it was going to be worth it and sure enough sold within an hour for 190 dollars. so that was my full asking price it is brand new open box brand new open box because i did open it um just to check it out whenever you're buying something from the flea market or goodwill i Highly recommend opening it up, looking inside, making sure it's all in there because it never fails. The one time you don't and you open it up or the customer opens it up, it's not going to be complete in there. So brand new, $190 ergonomic keyboard, Microsoft Sculpt, ergonomic desktop. You could sell these um, used as well too. Just make sure for these Microsoft ones, there are some that are Bluetooth, but this one here specifically the um, dongle or the receiver is specific to this exact model. Um, it's really annoying. Ooh, something's coming out there. It's really annoying that Microsoft does that. Or, I mean, I don't, I, you know, let me put this aside. It's just kind of annoying. <laughs> Logitech has these, uh, uh, what's called unifying receivers and a lot of their devices uh, can connect to the, you know, the same receiver, so. Um, it's kind of handy because, you know, those little things get lost all the time. Um, next sale, what did we sell? We sell some boots. These, this was a great sale, 137 or 27 $127 for these boots here. JB Dillon, look out for that brand. It's definitely a great brand to look out for. I've sold their belts before as well, too. Uh, made in Mexico, USA, size 9B, boots, women's size. Really cool, really cool boot. There's the bottom. These are brand new. Um, I don't know if they're... I couldn't find this exact model, but I don't know if they're, they were made to look distressed like this or if it's just been from sitting in storage because they still have the tag. It's still attached to theirs, but great sale. JB Dillon is a great boot brand to look out for. They do other leather work as well, too. Like I said, I've sold the belts before. So just a great name to look out for. This was a, um, this was actually picked up at a uh, garage sale, and I got these for $20. So really cool and great profit on that item. Another great item, and this I picked up at the flea market. This I got for $10. 
And uh, it definitely paid up $10 for a hat. I would not recommend paying $10 for a hat um, unless it's something special like this one is. So first off, Seattle Day Giants. Minor League uh, San Francisco Giants team uh, in, in San Jose. <laughs> they play here in San Jose. Uh, this is a new era. And this is a 7 3 8 men's size hat. Orange with camouflage. So that's what really sets this one off is... This is a camouflage version of the San Jose Giants hat. So it's a special edition hat. It has the USA flag on the side. And this is actually 100%. Oh, this is polyester. I thought it was a wool one, but it's not wool. Polyester. Wool would definitely bring a bit more of a premium. Um, not too, too much, but it definitely will bring a premium. So minor league teams, look out for them. San Jose Giants hats uh, like this one without the camouflage or the USA flag. Uh, don't typically sell for around 50. Uh, this sold for $50. Did I say that? This sold for $50. Don't typically sell for around $50. It's more around the $20 range for this style of new era San Jose Giants hat. The fact that this one, or the reason why this one sold for $50, you have the camouflage, you have the USA flag. It's a military style. And that's what I put in my listing. So, and this was the only one. There was none other. There are other San Jose Giants hats, but none with camouflage. So, I listed my military camouflage. Of course, New Era 5950, um, Orange, USA. And that's what got it sold. And got it sold for the more premium price of $50. So, that's going out. So, a few great sales there. Great items. I hope uh, I helped you guys out you know, with a little computer talk, looking out for those tiny little computers. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Please like the video by hitting the thumbs up button. Subscribe to see content from me. And uh, hit the bell notification if you want to get notified when we drop these videos. See you in the next one.